Hi guys, today we are going to see prototype of car autonomous using Raspberry Pi and image processing. So this one is our abstract. So here in the field of automobile various aspect has been considered which makes vehicle automated. So here automated uh, will be able to give the human driver relaxed for driving. So here auto autonomous cars are a developing technology which may prove to be the next big evaluation in personal transportation. So current capabilities as well as the limitations and opportunities of key enabling technologies are reviewed along with a discussion on the impact of such advances on society and the environment. So here we are using as a Raspberry Pi as the central processor of our autonomous car. So various images are captured by the Pi camera and these images various image processing techniques are used to achieve artificial intelligence. So when Autonomous vehicle become common and affordable to common people, uh, uh, increased safety and energy conservation and pollution reductions. So next one is the objective or main objective using Raspberry Pi camera model for image processing to get the information from the real world in military sectors, hose, drainage, cleaning and from the real world. And to avoid collisions by using ultrasonic sensor to control our autonomous car. So here live stream was takes place by the Raspberry Pi camera. So this one is an interesting slide. To reduce the accidents and improve safety transportation, we require autonomous vehicle. So such a traffic rules uh, causes accidents and maximum accidents will be occurred due to human error. So autonomous drive technology will be enabled for innovation in the auto automotive industry. So here total control will be takes place by the vehicle by image processing concept. So existing system only using obstacle based movement of robot and detect their environment parameters such as a temperature, gas, flame. So here those uh, data will be transferred through Wi-Fi communication to our cloud storage. So disadvantages no camera based live stream and human detection. So no indicator with controller applications. Our proposed system camera is attach, attached to image processing subsystem. So it will capture the image and provide uh, to our system. So generated commands are forward to obstacle detection subsystem. So obstacle detection subsystem is a detect the obstacle in front of the car and also calculate the distance between the obstacle and the car. So sufficient distance is available to move car forward. The command from Raspberry Pi is forwarded to motor driver, else this command are rejected. The advantage is, if the user think that is based on Raspberry Pi technology and user should have the extensive command and programming, then no. So robot comes with the all utilities and software records, record for autonomous and collision avoidance so that the user can use it without any hesitation or fear that they might not be able to control or not. So this uh, robot is useful for our organization where they can't afford the costly surveillance systems. This one is our block diagram. So Pi camera was interfaced with Raspberry Pi. It will use it for live streaming purpose and then ultrasonic sensor was used for obstacle avoidance purpose. So depending upon Pi camera image processing concept and then obstacle avoidance concept, we can control our motors through to motor driver. So this one is an image processing subsystem algorithm. So initially camera will be started and then capture the image. Those images will be converted into RGB grayscale. Then grayscale will be uh, converted into like B and W with uh, we get a sensitivity from that layers. Then check position of LAN and then create a command uh, by our default command. So pause command to Arduino using GPIO pins. So it will control the our motors. So image processing subsystem algorithm, this one is a image processing subsystem algorithm explanation. So this one is an obstacle detection subsystem algorithm. So our uh, ultrasonic sensor was in interfaced with Raspberry Pi. It will check the distance. It is uh, greater than the threshold level, uh, like less than the threshold level. It will be checked when the uh, greater than or less than the our threshold level means we will fix the command that command will be uh, like sent into our raspberry pi controller so it will stop the motors so obstacle detection subsystem algorithm so outputs so open cv 
So OpenCV is a library, Python library we can use it for uh, image processing concept. So software requirements we need a Raspbian OS, Python programming language. Hardware requirements we need a Raspberry Pi, uh, Pi camera, L2980 and motor driver, uh, bridge rectifier, DC motor, and then mechanical setup. So this one is our Raspberry Pi. So Pi camera for image processing uh, system process. Here uh, live streaming was uh, takes place by the Pi camera. So DC motor uh, L2980 driver. It will helps to drive the motor forward or backward. DC motor. Ultrasonic sensor used to detect the obstacle if it is present in front of the our robot or not. So relays will control the motor. So IC7805 voltage regulator will give the 5 volt as the stable output. IC7812 voltage regulator will give the stable 12 volt output. So this one is a power supply unit. So Python programming here we develop the Python program. Raspbian OS, we need Raspberry Pi uh, working with Raspbian OS. That one is a Linux based one. So, here different versions was there in Raspbian OS. Sputty, used to connect our Raspberry Pi to laptop. So, VNC viewer also used for remote connections. Arduino ID used to develop the embedded C program language for Arduino. So, here our controller, our motors are controlled through to Arduino ID. Arduino. Applications we can use uh, those systems, those uh, our proposed system in goods and logistics, hospitals and industrial sectors, AI based vehicles, military sectors. So feature work, we can add a multi-layer processes can be used for fast processing, image processing. So and also we can use advanced algorithm, it will improve the speed of the image detection and then processing concept. The present obstacle detection algorithm just detects the obstacle and stops but in future it can be improved by the avoiding the obstacle and go through another way using advanced obstacle detection algorithm. So this one is the conclusion. So algorithm mentioned in this uh, project has been successfully implemented in prototype of autonomous car. So here driving error and then distraction and drowsiness can be avoided by using our future technique use. This one is a reference line. That's all. Thank you.